Good in the lane to some extent, right? Is there any other, like, Legion Commander, like any of those heroes you can pick? Ember. Ember. Okay. I mean, Ember, Ember makes a lot of sense. Playable matchup? Or Ember? And you have to be really careful. Like, if you die once, yeah. you're going to... If you, oh, yeah. if you manage to pressure the Medusa, I think, and get her out of the lane into jungle early on, then a couple of rotations uh -oh. in the first blood. Yeah. Some really quality wow. Dota right here. Weaver yeah. goes in, blocks the blocks the Ancients instantly, gets deported, like... And stacked. Like, snaking stacks the hard camp after. Just, maybe he will die, though. Great job there by snaking, but 9A in some trouble in the middle lane as Mira rotates in with Toronto Tokyo, and they are going to be able to take down 9, despite the nice illusion pop snaking. to buy himself up a little bit more time. And snaking as well, Maposhka! Going in deep and punishing Snaking for that D ward he just made. Let's just go with that. It sounds like sound <laughs> yeah. fun. What about the narrative here? I thought. Uh oh. Barter in some trouble. There comes that Meteor. Smash it on down. Good night, Bane. You're the one who's going to be having nightmares tonight, I'm afraid. Yeah, nice attempts from him to sleep himself. Oh, Skitter actually TP'd. He's generally associated with needing some decent attack speed. Oh my goodness, they are throwing it down here on the Medusa. She's out of mana, but she has gotten off that ultimate, which means she should be safe for now, but uh, still not particularly healthy. Rip. This feels risky for Skitter to go in here, but the grip onto Morphling. Oh no, Fata catching Yatoro out beautifully there. Um, Matchup for the Rubik. Oh, for sure. Yeah, it's one of the best spells to steal, isn't it? As they jump forward onto 9 once again. He just died. Is he going to go down again? Team Spirio is certainly hoping so. 33 is here. He has the Doom. Doesn't feel the need to pop it for Mira here. Turns around, uses it onto the Ember Spirit. This might be two kills for them, in fact. Snaking just refreshing a cooldown on his Sakuchi as they run down this Ember. Meanwhile, 9 running away from the Weaver. They'll finish off the kill onto the Ember Spirit. 9, he's running through the trees, he's asking for the high five to try and bait out Mr. Maposhka here, but uh, he's actually he able to move. What? He keeps using the sticky day palm as well. Is that Look, he has last one. He could get a kill here even if they uh, see healthy, the Weaver. Yeah. Oh, the time lapse. They know now. Oh, Invis, Snake Egg, is he there? In the left section. Oh you my. See Team Spirit play, play out these team fights. Ember, caught top. Yes. Or is he? He's out onto both the supports though. That's that's not ideal. Oh dearie right. me. That's Rosh. I think that's it might literally... be right. They both have buybacks yeah. and they both need to use them if they want to stand a chance. All right, now starting to swing in a bit of an advantage for the uh, team spirit as they see 33 in the trees here. Zooming on in on Yatora to get on top of the Doom. Doom, I mean, he does break the Lincolns and pop the Doom now onto the Morphling, but what really is going to okay. happen here? I don't think very much as they get the Banish out onto Nine. Stuck inside the Eighth Realm as they get the lasso out onto the Weaver, but the save comes out from Collapse. Beautifully done to get this Weaver out of there, and he can now get off the time lapse and keep himself alive. <laughs> There's so many ways to pick off a target and eliminate it instantly, but on the other side, Collapse on the OD. He's scary. 33 jumping in behind, trying to find a target here. Doom's going to come down onto the Morphling, but it looks like he got the Strength Morph off in time. And now the Astral comes out to buy him even more time. Nine looking for someone, but no one will be found as in comes the Medusa from the sidelines. They want to kill the Morphling. Everything on the Morph. Do they have the damage? I think they very well might. The last they few got him. of Doom, and they bring him down. Yatoro is dead. Long live the Queen, who is the Medusa going to be able to make anything happen with this Batrider and Bane, considering the amount of saves on the side of Team Spirit as uh, Mira jumps down to get the Courier. He's up to the tree, so let's try to get him. Jesus. Okay, they will get him. <laughs> jumps right. from a worse position into an even worse position. Oh, it's Yatoro. Yatoro gets a secondary Lincoln's put upon him, as you mentioned. And we'll be fine for now. And now they've got that Meteor Hammer coming on down into the Bane. That's not the target you want to go down here, but they don't have a choice. Farsa falls as Toronto Tokyo jumps in, snipes him out, and gets himself back again. Now that's also a hero. I see Skidder here, not the target they can really jump on, though they're gonna send him to the Astral Realm for now. Meanwhile, on the back line, that's who they want. They find the Doom, 33 down, and now they look towards Snaking as well, just taking back to supporting staff and leaving the Medusa isolated, because they know they can't bring down Skitter, but they can easily deal with the rest of them before Tundra's BKBs run out. Fata. Oh my god, Yatoro! Yatoro, buddy! Alright, well, just throwing his Aegis away, a little over-aggressive there, but maybe it's going to open up for something. 
waveforms himself right the way back out again. Look at nine. Just the constant poking has put him so low already. Easy. Like, there's just so many heroes that get on top of you and eliminate you in a second. Nine. Talking of which, Nine is experiencing that exactly as he gets just turned into a pig and absolutely slaughtered. That's bad. That's going to be a buyback, I would imagine. They now throw out the Astral onto the Medusa. Mira Meanwhile, Monkey the in the back line is just going to pop down that Wukong's command from the tree line, giving them the vision, giving them the damage, and the Bane is going to fall as well. Oh my goodness, collapsed. Oh. He's just killing everybody. So much damage of pumping out of this outworld the power of this is ridiculous. Yatoro jumping in, looking for another. They'll bring down Snakey as well, because why the hell not? Tundra looking for something, but who will they find? I mean, I don't think there's any chance of catching the kill in the back lines here. Team Spirit just holding steady, holding this five, not getting sloppy whatsoever. He could be out from 33. He has to use it here, but to what effect? Absolutely none seems to be the answer. Skitter on the front lines. I mean, that's what they want. The BKB is there along with the ultimate, so they'll just force Team Spirit away once again. And this is what we mean. The BKB has come out, and Team Spirit, they just back themselves away. They just poke and probe. Poke and probe. They go back, they go in, and you can't fight them. Like, GG. That's it. I, I feel bad for Tundra. It felt like they could buy back all those heroes while the first set of them were alive. Fight 10 versus 5, and this OD will still destroy them. Like. <laughs> I mean, sh sure, just go for the full debate. Like, Tinker looks so good this game. Yeah, it does, it does, you're right. Phoenix, alright. I mean, Phoenix another classic. Really yeah. Against IO, though, can be scary. Why? Well, I guess coming with uh, similarly well rounded drafts, they've got a bit of everything. And uh, pretty normal across the board, actually. You know, we talked a lot about creativity, but, you know, part of having a good amount of creativity Gyro. in your team. Oh, hello here. He's gotten nightmared up for the time being. Is there anyone else here? Do they need anyone else? I think they'll just they be don't. able to get this kill regardless. Well, they're playing with him even a little bit. I feel like Mposhka could have given... Yeah, there's a few of these players, you know, Amara as well. Also another one where they will just first phase the mask. They know that they just feel like they can't be beaten. But uh, Nightmare out into the spear. This gyrocopter can't do anything. All he can do is get off a rocket barrage as he will go down in the bottom lane. Oh, if you check out different supports, different players, they all build him differently even. Bottom lane, true, true. Fata again. Oh, Fata. Fall in again. Zero and three is the scoreline. And... He might die, though. Yeah. Once again, I mean, how many times are we going to see this combo work so well? Well, actually, they're coming in for a bit of revenge here, Tundra. They're looking for Maposhka, and they might well just find him. There's a lovely bash coming through from Skidder, and that will get them the kill onto Maposhka. And the Chrono's there to get the kill onto the Mars as well. All right, fair enough. Yep, drop it down, cancel the TP. Let's see, can he toggle his way out of this one? He's got an arena as well, but I just don't think... Oh, he's turned it around to the Void Collapse, toggling through, Skidder getting away, and Fada trying to chase down this Mars. I'm not sure Mars is actually going to make it out in the end. No toggles today, sir. Collapse is gone. It was looking a little bit spicy for a minute there. Meanwhile, up in the top lane, 33 under the tower. Mira's got the Sunray coming out onto him. That percentage base damage is going to rip through the Tide Hunter along with Yatoro to get Yatoro a kill and keep their tower alive. It is very healthy, this top tower, actually. That's the Lena all above their counterparts. Come not having the gold on Tundra right now. Chronosphere coming down to the bottom lane. It's a good one from Skidder. They've got the follow-up damage. They do indeed as Nine gets relocated in. They will take down the Mars and Collapse will go down. They get themselves something on Tundra. However, is... where are they relocating back to? To Luna. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's an Eclipse. Nine, he doesn't want to be here. Can he get himself out? The LSA is down and Toronto Tokyo is going to take down the Leshrac. Team Spirit set up for the relocate gank, but the Ravage is in. Can they kill the Luna? It's a great kill if they can get it, then they can. Yotoro is gone. Meanwhile, the Luna is able to get herself back and away. Mars perhaps collapse. Has a blink. Yeah, he saw them. Lena. Low ground. Oh, the Lena. This could be a good kill, but don't forget, she has the Aegis. They don't want to drop any ultimates on her. 33. He could be in a good place to do it, but with the BKB coming out from the Luna, they'll just shred apart. Poor old 33. Fatter running away on the back lines, but they're more looking towards 9. I think 9's going to be okay, and it's just going to be a Gyrocopter going down as well. So cool. The moment they get off that BKB on the Luna, you can't Ravage anymore, and it just looks a little bit awkward for poor old Tundra again. The difference between, you know, a carry with a lot of money and a carry with a IO behind it, although I say carry, we're talking more about Nine here being the carry of this game nice at the moment arena. as the reader comes down. Very nicely done, catching out both Nine and the IO. Nine, no BKB available just yet, so no way to escape the Wrath of Collapse. Literally three times in a row they're running to the same spot, and again Nine is up front. 
Yep, they want this Roshan, and the easy way to get it is to get control of this triangle. It just means that they'll have no way into the pit on the side of Tundra. Nice. And in we go, jumping in, Arena comes down, they want to catch the IO straight off the bat, and they might be able to do exactly that, but the Ravage comes in, Snaking's still alive, dying to collapse, but Collapse is giving it its all. Meanwhile, Toronto, Tokyo, oh, they're going to get the Chrono off, but now the grip comes out from a Poshka, meaning the Void can do nothing, and Toro, is he still alive here? Ow! Finally goes down, caught by a Thunderbolt, but nine falls as well. Both are big calls on the side of Tundra, a gone 30 he's still alive but he is one man versus the world and that's not a fight he's gonna win as team spirit will be able to clean him up five heroes for one bkb on lush there's a bkb yeah. on uh, void unless we already saw it used 33 as well has one ooh, 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 ooh. a little bit of, oh god 33 on the run Tundra have no intentions of taking this fight by the looks of it skidder i mean he's nearby he's like well i could oh okay the reload out fair enough they will keep 33 safe for the time being, but uh, 9 in the sidelines, he's in trouble. Ravage is going to come down though, directly onto the Luna, they're throwing everything onto your Toro right now, the Chrono comes down on top of her as well. The Luna is dead, but Toronto Tokyo is still very much alive and fighting into the void, he can't man fight the Lena. The Lena is just too much of a Chad, he's going to take down Snaking, move across, just blasting away at 33, the TP is out from 33, but he is going nowhere as it's going to be Team Spirit once again, taking down four. A great play from Tundra to jump both their ultimates onto Luna, but there's another problem in this game, and that is Alina. Definitely didn't see that the TI. <laughs> Not at all. Didn't happen multiple times, no, no. Tundra is going to be high ground game. Man, this guy hates Fata. Oh, in comes Snaking, trying to save the Gyrocopter, but it won't be enough. Skidder jumping in, it's a nice Chronosphere, but does it really matter? Especially with the grip coming out from the Poshka. The Ravage will connect onto him, but there's an Aeon Disc even on Toronto, Tokyo. Toronto, Tokyo is so tanky, now the Eclipse coming down as well. They're trying to find something, they're trying to find anything. Tundra scrounging for a kill, a support, anything, but there is nothing going their way. A thousand buybacks could be used, two thousand buybacks could be used, it doesn't matter. Team Spirit, take them down, and that'll be GG. A and a rampage from Toronto, Tokyo to tie it off. That, that's usually Yatoro's job. But